In this week's court report, a Pahrump man arrested and formally charged with sexual assault, contributing to the delinquency or neglect of a minor, and another related charge is in custody, $112,560, cash or bond. James Curtis Valdez was taken into custody after he eventually admitted to police that a female juvenile was at his residence and also admitted to having sex with her. But Valdez denied giving the minor alcohol, consuming drugs in her presence, or sexually assaulting her, as she indicated to police. In fact, Valdez even claimed that said juvenile sexually assaulted him. However, the juvenile's statements were corroborated and drug paraphernalia was located in the suspect's residence after Valdez consented to a search of his residence. Notably, Valdez is also formally charged with giving a false statement to or obstructing a public officer. That juvenile victim who called police to report Valdez was reported as a runaway in February 2018, and an officer took custody of that victim to return her to her parents after probable cause was found. During Valdez's formal arraignment, the defendant was given a copy of the complaint and advised of his rights, the charges against him, and procedures. The defendant stated that he understood the nature of the charges on behalf of attorney Nathan Gent, who is actually Valdez's public defender, but was not present during that proceeding, attorney David Reichert invoked the 15-day rule and requested a preliminary hearing be set within said 15 days. The court set both a preliminary hearing and a status hearing for April 5th, then remanded the defendant to the custody of NCSO. Also notably, before he was taken into custody, Valdez stated that he was currently on parole and probation, and after PNP was contacted, they advised to arrest Valdez as well. The area man arrested and now facing the formal charge of sexual assault of a female victim remains in custody $100,000 cash or bond and Jeffrey Fonseca Gomez is scheduled in court tomorrow for a motion hearing. During Fonseca Gomez's formal arraignment, his public defender waived the formal reading of the complaint, requested that a Spanish interpreter be present at all future hearings for him because the defendant was born in Costa Rica and is more comfortable speaking Spanish. The public defender also stated that there is no offer on the table and therefore a pretrial will not be necessary and invoked the defendant's right to a speedy preliminary hearing. That proceeding has now been rescheduled for April 5th. Fonseca Gomez now has a different retained attorney. The male suspect in a case connected to the stabbing of an elderly woman at a residence on North Barney Street is scheduled in court again April 2nd for sentencing. David Metcalf appeared while in custody set for his sentencing, but his attorney, Jason Ernest, requested the case be continued because the pre-sentencing investigation report needs to be corrected. Attorney Ernest also addressed the defendant's health issues and alleged lack Lack of medical care at the detention center. However, the court rebuffed Ernest, stating that the health issues are not properly before the criminal court and are a civil court matter. The woman arrested and later sentenced in this case after making a plea deal is Leela Mabel Ashmore. Police say Ashmore was present during that attack and lied to investigators to cover up the crimes committed by Metcalf. This has been your court report. I'm Unette Gentry for News 46.